All right, we're gonna do us another video here and talk about wind and windmills. Some of you might know where this is going. Some of you probably have an absolute no idea. And I'm gonna pick up. I gotta come check a windmill. Uh, I haven't seen it yet, but uh, I've heard about it. So, look at that big old lake down there. We're gonna come. I have this one in a few videos. Talk about it. Um, I don't remember what videos they are, but this is one of my pastures. Uh, we still water with a windmill. I personally really like windmills uh, over electric wells and everything, but the problem with them is there's always something broken on a windmill. We still have, well, we three left on the ranch. Um, most wells have gone to electric wells and now we're switching almost everything over to solar wells. Uh, we still have quite a few, probably may maybe half and half, half solar, half half electric, and then we have our three windmills. That's just uh, just kind of how it how it is. Um, windmills are usually very reliable until you know. Then you'll have, but once a year you probably have the leathers go out down in the bottom or sucker rod break or or something. But uh, this one is extra special, and I'll start pointing towards it. Uh, if you guys can see this, that's uh, apparently a giant fucking hole in the road. Um, doesn't help that I was drinking my coffee. This is why Will's pickup has uh, coffee stains over everything. There's my, my bump. Okay, so yeah, fun, fun times. Um, this kind of sucks a dick, but you know, what can you do? This is, this is an, actually an old air motor um, tower. Looks like that leg just snapped. Um, these things were built out of angle iron. They are junk. Um, yep, that one just, that one just broke. You see these things down everywhere. I mean, they they will all eventually come down. I don't... We have one of these towers left, but it already has a solar well on it. Uh, the issue with these things is the heads. You know, the heads will go out. The head is five grand. Five to six grand, just depending. And then you gotta have a well man put it on with their boom truck. Completely destroyed the fan. Um, even even destroyed the damn fan. That sucks. Go oh, put that on my wall. Doesn't look like it cracked the case, which that's actually a good thing. So that means I still have a, a good, if nothing's broken there, then I should still have a good head. Have to get down, have to pull this bonnet off. Uh, that's the bonnet. Get down and actually look in the gears of it and see. But yeah, um, most towers that are put up anymore, if they are put up, are all pipe towers. Uh, our two good windmills that we have left now are pipe towers. Because this is what happens these are, they put train loads of these things up. And they just eventually will come down. Um, we had a really, really, really bad wind, I guess, this week, past weekend while I was gone. Had two inches of rain out of it, but it, so we're dealing with the cluster fuck with the calves, but, um, yeah, this, this is what happens when a windmill tower falls over, so... What we're going to do, and that's kind of why I'm making a video to show you what we're going to do, is this will go into a solar well now. We're not going to put another tower back up. Uh, number one, because solar is way cheaper. And I knew that this one would eventually, you know, this would eventually happen. 
So I've just always planned on putting a solar well in here. Um, I have to cut her down the tree out because that doesn't need to be here. But these towers do come over and I was just going to keep this going until this eventually did happen. Or I had a head go out. Oh, I don't know. I bet it, yeah, fuck it did. It did bust the case. Look at that. Yep. Nope, that case is no good no more. The gears inside are probably good, but the case is... I saw these, and... Yeah, that case is toast. So that sucks a dick. Um, oh well. But, yeah, that, that was the thing. If this head went out, I wasn't gonna put, uh... I wasn't gonna put a new head up there. I was just gonna put a drop of solar well down it. But... So... Yeah, that's, uh... That's the fun of owning windmills. So now I'm going to spend $3,000 dropping a solar well down this hole. And yeah, you know, fun times, eh? Always, always something to spend money on. But at least the cattle market's halfway decent right now, so I can afford to probably afford to do it once I get all my calves sold. But I'll do it way before then. I'll just spend the money and and get it replaced because gotta have water. We can't graze these pastures without it. But a lot of grass in this pasture. <coughs> so my stickers. We'll do that so we can just drive. But yeah, I kinda I don't know if there's see many of those, but that's uh that's kind of the that is the the tough part of owning windmills because uh especially those see that is an old aero motor tower and aero motor are the ones who build the heads well they built all those england towers and they sold just train loads of them well they call them uh rubbermaid towers here well i've heard of, a lot of people do it and i call them that now um, because if you've ever climbed one to pull the well to get to the top, uh, it's it's they're, they're just they're just flimsy. They just they move really bad in the wind. Those things move in the wind just a ridiculous amount because they just have you know that they just have too much give in that angle iron and it, it'll it flexes really bad. You know, I'm surprised that they stand as long as they have. Um, but they will eventually go down, just like that one. But it, it feels like you're standing on something that was made by, like, Rubbermaid. It's just like standing on rubber. And they're not fun to climb. Uh, the, the ladders on those things are just atrocious. Uh, <laughs> they, I don't even know how they got by with doing that. But that's what they did, so. Now, well, uh, we already actually... We saw that, that it was down. I don't have any cows in this pasture, but I mean, we've got water in our ponds, so I will be moving cows in here fairly quickly. And then we're just gonna put a solar well in it. Um, we've already priced one, and I'm gonna price another outfit just to kind of see what they, uh, what they do, but that's eventually, that's kind of where everything's going nowadays. Everything's just kind of, it's going that way. It, solar wells are really affordable now and they're for the most part really reliable. Um, we started putting them in before they really had a way to control them with like floats. And so, you know, most of our wells last pretty long pretty good time and eventually the pump will go out uh, but this one floats are very common now for them and so eventually we'll just switch everything over to have floats on the solar well so you're not using you know having them running over all the time but uh that's that's kind of how that is but anyways the only problem you have with float uh solar wells here is in the winter time if you have a couple of snowy days, 
and things freeze up and you can kind of run low on water sometimes but it it takes like a week of snow for that to ever happen and hold on so that's not too big of an issue we won't switch everything over to solar just because it's nice like on our bigger wells it's nice to have have it where like in the summertime if uh if we need that thing to pump continuously we can uh, if it gets like extremely hot but anyways just thought i'd show you that and we'll just add that to the list of things that we need to do